Okay, so. Uh, is this the new one? Beneath the Stolen Lambs. Okay. Meet with the self-proclaimed protector of Galarian and discover what secrets lie buried beneath the Stolen Lands in a shifting labyrinth of madness where nothing is what it seems. Complete with new enemies to battle and new treasures to unearth, defend the lands against one of the most dangerous enemies the world has ever faced. You may begin your descent into the roguelite to never steps with a new character, or await an invitation from a mysterious protector of Galarian as you play through the main story. This dungeon is one of the hardest challenges your party can encounter in the game. Be careful and good luck to you. Okay, I need to change the section of Twitch that I'm uh, streaming to so that I'm not a big fat phony. Um... Da, 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 Pathfinder, Kingmaker, okay, and what is this beneath the stolen lands? Okay, uh, beneath the s stolen lands. Start. There we go. Update. Cool. So, uh, da, 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 da. did you get an invite to the guild? No, he's deep into something or so because I'm mostly playing stories in my lives. So someone can send me one. Uh, yeah, if any of the uh, Matt, I think you're an officer because I, I think I made you one because you uh, helped fund the the guild creation. If you could hit Mojo Hamster with the guild invite, that'd be really appreciated. Uh, if you're not online though, I understand. Otherwise, I'll get them tomorrow. Okay, so for anyone unfamiliar with Pathfinder um, or me, uh, I stream RPGs. Lately, that's been a lot of Guild Wars too because I've really fallen in love with that game all over again. Pathfinder was one of the biggies on my channel. This is one of the ones that caused the biggest growth that my channel ever had. It is similar to Dungeons & Dragons. It has just got an insane level of customization, which you will see in just a second here. Um, so what are these things? Last as Lanti mode, one save slot available. The game saves automatically. Oh, okay, so if it auto saves in an area where you're about to die, you've got to start the whole game over. We're not doing that right now. Only active companions receive XP. If you enable this, only companions in your current party will gain experience. If there are less than six, each one of them will receive increased experience. Okay, so that's not something I want to do for my first playthrough of this. Maybe another time. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Normal damage you suffer from enemies and traps is reduced by 20%. I, I don't need that. Challenging. Uh, character rules suffer full damage from enemies and traps. Enemies fight at full power and have the usual chances of critting. Okay, so challenging is like normal D&D rules. Uh, it's, there's friendly fire and all that jazz. Um, hard mode and unfair, the enemies get like 20% and 40% more difficult. I don't really need to do that. I'll just, I'll keep it on challenging. Uh, yeah, looks like Tiger's on the same wavelength. Okay, so we'll do challenging. Um, create a new character. Oh man, how did we, how did you do those picture files? Do I still have those hundreds of pictures? No, I don't. Oh man. Hmm. Oh well. Unless someone happens to have the, wait, what? Use the Bob Ross at the bottom? What, the wizard guy? <laughs> Negaross, you have to redo that, I can talk you through it after. Angel lady. Uh, this guy's a standard look. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is my adventurer. Oh my gosh. Is that a guy? That, that chiseled jaw, that looks like a guy. Magic missile. All right, let's. This I like this guy. Let's do it. Okay, so Tiefling has been added. I think that might have been added in Varnhold's lot. Uh, it's nothing new on there. So it could be human, elf, dwarf, gnome, halfling, half elf. Uh, and this matters a lot. Um. I'm gonna hover on Azamar for just a second to look at the classes. Is there anything I don't recognize here? Adori Sword Lord. These bottom ones are prestige classes. Those take uh, prerequisites, so you can't have them at level one, but you can pick them up later. 
There's the Slayer that I was told is here. Uh, okay, so it looks like it's pretty much similar to what I know from pen and paper. Uh, Slayer is kind of like Van Helsing. Um, not something I want to play in the computer game, but it, it was a very deadly uh, thing on paper when I saw it. Okay, so um, my favorite class remains the Druid. Um, if I do Asimar, what does that give? Uh, this is unique traits. Ability to manifest halos. They can wear a light center halo on their head at will. Let's see if against blind or dazzled. And have resistance. What is human? An extra feat, an extra skill. Druid pet builds. <laughs> Dumb millennial. I don't even care. It's so much fun. Keen senses, elven magic, elven immunities. I actually like how the elf looks. That's pretty nice. I think Azamar was always the OP choice. What's uh, Tiefling got? Fiendish resistance and Tiefling heritage. Oh, that's right. You could choose what type of Satan you were descended from. And uh, you get different bonuses based on that. Okay, so let's do kind of. Oh my gosh, we can be a thick angel man. So let's be skinny. We're gonna go with the RL build. So the Azamar is basically someone who's somewhere up their family line. Someone boinked an angel. There, someone was touched by an angel. How about that? There we go. Uh, let's get that. Oh man, look at that. That's the Chuck Norris look right there. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a pretty clean shaven guy. Let's go for the... I, th I think that's pretty close to the muck look. Can we, can we be pastier? Where's the uh, skin tone? Oh, there's, there's only a few choices. There we go. There's the, the golden lipped muck. Oh, Chip. You done? We we're gonna make you next. Oh my gosh. Oh, you could choose if you're left-handed or right-handed. I love it when games do that. It's such a simple thing. It's so easy to code. And they, they often don't. Okay, what type of angel blood do you have? Uh, wisdom and charisma. We want wisdom. That's like the druid main stat. Strength charisma, con charisma, wisdom and con. That's a strong choice. Uh, wisdom and dex is also a strong choice. Was there a wisdom and strength anywhere? Strength, charisma... Okay, so I guess Wisdom and Con. I missed the crotch cam. <laughs> oh man, yeah, there, now that I don't have that there, I can just stream in only a shirt. You guys don't even know. Uh, okay, so we'll stick with that. All right, we want... Why is it not recommending Wisdom as a main stat? I did pick Druid, didn't I? Wait, no, it says Paladin. What the heck? What? What is happening right now? Why can't I hover Druid? Is it because of Azamar? Did they change the Azamar rules? Hold on. Uh, human? Next. Let's hover on Druid. Okay. Let's go back here. Azamar. There we go. Okay, that was weird. Um, I wonder if uh, it had locked in my alignment, even though I hadn't actually gotten there yet. I think it had locked the alignment in. We want an animal companion. Is there any new options? Uh, what is this thing? Continue? No. Smile on Mastodon, Leopard, okay, these are all the same options as when I played last. So last time we did the math and the Smilodon, which is a giant saber-toothed tiger, was the most overpowered one. Uh, or just, I guess, the strongest one. It just had the most raw muscle. The Mastodon was so deafening. Every time it moved, dum 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 it was just deafening all the time. Uh, Leopard does two claws and a bite each turn and can trip the target. Smilodon just flat out does five attacks per turn. Where are we Smilodon? Let's go for that big muscle. We like cats. Okay, 
Uh, da, 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 da. Three points. We want perception, nature, and... It doesn't matter. We'll hold on to the last one for a second. Okay. Um, I don't think we care about charisma as a druid. I don't think it matters. Let's lower that, and I don't think... Yeah, we'll lower int, and then we'll just level two skills. And now we've got more points to do this. Hmm. They turned down the overall idle sounds randoms and mass over time. I certainly hope so. That was, like, unplayable. Like, I remember I replayed over an hour and a half of the game to go back to the point where I picked my pet and choose a different one. Do you know how high a level this goes? Oh, wow. Is it going to go from 1 to 20? Or is it going to... Hmm. Okay. Uh, feet. Feet, 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 feet. Great strength of feet. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. I'm trying to remember how many should show unavailable. What what did I go for on this? Extra bombs. Oh, that's right. The Alchemist was a lot of fun. Uh, melee, because the shapeshifts scaled really strongly with melee. That's why I put a bunch of points. Oh, Outflank was really good. That requires just BAB, though. Uh, <laughs> Dodge or Toughness. Hey! Welcome back. Hey! You want pets? Come up here. <laughs> you missed the jump. Okay. So, dodge is... I don't have my sleeve pulled down. Ow! You little punk kid. There. That's only marginally better. I right, gain one dodge to your AC. It just makes you lose one. Okay. Uh, what was toughness? Just more hit points? Alright, dodge is better than toughness. Cute cat. Murderous cat. Uh, birth date. Uh, just pick a random day, random month. I'm always ready. Get it off me. Defeat is not an option. I won't give up. This is my path. I feel faint. <laughs> my wounds pile on. Calm down. Not dead yet. Someone else would make better use of this. The path is clear. My let us bide our time. Mm. So many thoughts, so little time. All I see is blackness. Well, that's a little crazy. Their life ends here. We do it my way. <laughs> Let's do confident. That's fun. All right, muck luck. Choose alignment. Uh, neutral good, I guess. Just dodge him. Right? I know. I mean, really, that would that, that would fix all my Guild Wars problems if I would just dodge. This will hurt. Wait a minute, why is my hair hideous? I totes I no use for this. changed that. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. There we go. A mere flesh wound. Alright. Uh okay. That's our character. You are getting a little too armor piercing there. Oh my gosh, I got some new holes on my hand. Muck, give us scruff on mic. To begin your adventure in the Tenebrous Depths, speak to the Silver Dragon and hire mercenaries. You have enough gold to hire three of them to begin with. Yeah, because it was on the mic, dumb millennial. 
Uh, meet the honest guy, a merchant who can sell you supplies, weapons, and armor. The inventory of goods he offers will expand as oh, as you reach deeper into the depths. You can purchase scrolls and potions from the Silver Dragon. He can help you by casting spells from these scrolls if your characters aren't able to do it themselves. You can rest and recover health and spells by clicking on the table, but only when it's set. The Silver Dragon sets the table each time you reach the next floor of the depths. What? <laughs> only when it's set? This is the entrance to the Tenebrous Depths. Good luck. Okay. In due time. All right. Freaking dragon just helping us out. What's up, guy? The silver dragon stares at you for a long time unblinking. Maybe it's just a trick of the light, but you think you hear a heavy mercury teardrop roll from its pearly eye. You have answered my call, protector of Galarian. I will have you know no one has ever returned from these caves alive. Many valiant heroes before you have sacrificed their lives to bring victory one step closer. I've not forgotten their feats, nor will I forget yours. Uh, what do you expect of me? An egg laid by the abominable Rovagug has cursed this dungeon for thousands of years. The larva of the beast will destroy half of the river kingdoms if it hatches. The shell that surrounds it is a labyrinth of darkness and madness inhabited by thousands of its former victims. Hundreds of heroes perished as they sought a way through it, but now I know where the egg is and the path to it is almost clear. Almost. What blocks the way? Oh, that is the saddest and scariest part. The spawn of the beast feeds on nightmares and its very shell is made of madness. The caves around are filled with insanity. It has flooded them with an ocean of darkness which distorts the very nature of the multiverse. <laughs> I don't think I'm the right guy for this. Heroes who approach grow mad or perish in great suffering. This gives the egg its strength. The monster feeds on terror and pain. Neither alive nor dead, but tormented eternally. Uh, by their worst nightmares, these brave heroes still wander the labyrinth. Find and destroy four of their strongest, and the power of the beast madness will weaken. Then I'll be able to crack open the shell. We must destroy the monster before it hatches and grows strong. The fallen priestess... Ow! Hey! Okay, that was... Alright. You bled me there. We're trimming your claws tomorrow. That was too much. Uh, the fallen priestess, weary traveler, the wicked ch chanter, the captor, and his horrifying slave. Deliver them unto peace, and path to the enemy will be opened. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, excellent question. Why don't you do it yourself? <laughs> the dragon's body shudders. It would seem that the thought of what hides in the depths could chill the soul of even a mighty dragon. The egg is surrounded by an ever-shifting labyrinth of insanity and darkness, the insanity which the larva emits is capable of subduing even the most valiant of heroes. I ventured down before, and it was only by a miracle I slipped the fate that had ensnared so many other brave heroes. If I tried to vanquish it alone, then sooner or later it would devour me, drink my soul, and add me to the horde of nightmares that guard it. Who would be able to destroy me then? Thus, I continue summoning heroes to this place. Many of those who answered my call turn their backs and return to their lives, only to discover how slim are their chances of victory and I do not blame them, but my vigil is nearing its end. The hour of the last battle with the monster draws near. If you can manage to weaken its shell, I can crack it and we can finish it together. Okay. Uh, can you summon more heroes? I will summon who I can. Let's see which of them will answer my call. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me... Was F5 quick save? I'm trying to remember. Oh shoot. I'm there. The save game button is grayed out. Saving impossible Iron Man. What? I didn't start the game on Iron Man difficulty. I did... Did I? I swear I didn't turn that on. Is it on by default? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I'm just gonna blast through the settings real quick. Ah, uh, it is not fine. Because then I'll step into a trap and it'll be game over. Oh, no, it is. It is on by default. It was on by default, and the XP thing was on by default. 
the traps. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. But if we freaking wipe on like the second to the last boss and we don't get to see the ending, I cannot promise I'm going to replay the whole freaking thing just to see the end. Ah, <sighs> okay. I need companions. Give me more people. All right. If we're doing this, we want a proper tank. Uh, last uh, last time we had uh, Valerie after... Um, what was the monk's name? Trip. Trip Twinkletoes. It's a roguelike. Do you not know that term? No, you guys taught me that term like two months ago, and I have forgotten what it means. Um, I'm guessing by the tone of your voice right now, I can read the tone, that it means it's Iron Man save file. Uh, okay. Need someone with a shield. This guy's got a shield. Alright. Uh, do I want Asmar for this? Let's see. I'll try to make it match the picture. That might be too dark. I think that's about right. Can you get that hairstyle? Not really. We'll have to get him a helmet to kind of cover it. That's pretty close. All right. Uh, all right. Human. Uh, fighter. Tower shield specialist. And I think what did I do last time? I got like one level of monk for the ability to uh, get the crane stance for more armor. So what's Aldori Defender get? A lot of different stuff to its a parry. Dueling sword. Okay, so it's all about using a dueling sword. I'd like to see Muck play Binding of Isaac. Not sure. I, I know what that is off the top of my head. I'd have to look that up. All right, let's let's try to make our perfect tank again, like we did last time. Uh. This is going to be a dumb, ugly person. All right. Uh, all right, athletics and really doesn't matter what else. Knowledge world. Okay, uh, racial bonus. Well, we have 20 strength right off the bat. Uh, da, 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 da. it means you go in and will die. You get a boon for getting so far for the next run. You go deeper and deeper with more experience and tweaking how you play. This is a casual gameplay. It's not a 200-hour story. Okay. Well, then let's have this guy be very defensive then for our perfect tank. Okay. Uh, stuff that gives armor is my goal. Shield focus, granted the increased AC of any shield. Uh, toughness, and... Oh shoot, what does dodge require? I bet I don't have enough dex. Where's dodge? 13 dex, all right, go back. Um... There we go. Dodge. Uh, okay, shoot. Hold on. Let me change this to dodge and this to... Can this one get toughness? Oh, missile shield. Even better. Um, you can block and an arrow each turn. Alright, enter name. Tank. Uh, lawful good so that we can give him a level of monk later. Uh... Let's hear you cry. We'll make him a bit bloodthirsty. All this waiting bores me. He has Coop de Gracie. All right, we got a tank. Okay, uh, we need a healer, I'm sure. And 
some damage. So probably a cleric and a, and a damage dealer. Preferably a damage dealer that doesn't need to rest a lot. And like an alchemist has to rest a lot for bombs, for example. Okay. Uh... Can you use that picture and get an Azamar lady? Oh, it uh, defaulted to an Azamar. Alright, I think that's the same one as the pig. I will repost, please read. Uh, I read this is a casual fantasy. Was good. I read that, I read that, I read that. Of course, you read your chat, no explanation. I read that, don't get attached to your tunes. Um, so, Muck, you can do a level floor, back out rest, then go back and do another floor. Uh, so, you don't have to worry about, oh, should I use Fireball now or wait? Just blow all your buffs and explosions. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, at the very least, I probably want a cleric. I can't imagine playing this game without a cleric. We're going to make her a lefty, just for keeping it different. Um, cleric. Let's see. I I used Herald Caller before, and I almost never actually used the summoning. Um, Eclesthiurge has two domains. Cleric proficiencies, detect magic, detect magic, domain mastery. Just base cleric and Aerosil, You know you wanna probably. Aerosil gave her the bow, right? I think that's what I did last time. So we want her as Dex. Is Let's see if Dex and Wisdom is an option. So she could be like an Archer Cleric. Con Wiz, Dex Charisma, Dex Wiz. Perfect. Okay, Deity. Uh, Aerosil was... Yeah. We channel Positive Energy. Animal Domain, so she gets a pet, uh, eventually, level 4. And I think Community Domain was the other OP one, where she got some free heals each level. Oh yeah, Guarded Hearth was bugged last time I played this game. Guarded Hearth didn't work. This one did, though. Okay. Uh, we need 10 strength to be able to pull back a bow stream. Stream, stream, string. Uh, let's do low religion. We need charisma for channels. Do make it a little even, I guess. Maybe do something like that. Wait, 13? Why 13? I mean, I can do that, but why? Strength 12 for composite? Oh, okay. Your spells are stronger. <laughs> That's common knowledge, dumb millennial. Common knowledge. But no, the charisma has something to do with how many times per day you can channel. Uh, we want selective channel. That way we're not healing enemies. Yes, chat, you can accidentally do that. Someone else would make better use of this. Heal me quickly. Stand with me. Yeah, it sounds like a healer. Uh, I don't know. We'll just use Eve again. Our path leads on. Okay. Lastly, we need some kind of psycho damage dealer. Uh I like the idea, you guys remember um, Shulk, <laughs> She-Hulk that we made? And she was like a long range melee fighter uh, with the 15 foot long range and she had the, uh, the, the pet with her. I liked her and then there was also the guy with the grenades. I'm just gonna hover her for just a second. Um, so, Alchemist had tons of grenades that were really deadly. And then... Barbarian Mad Dog got a bunch of pets. Do a I don't like Arcane Trickster. I'm not going to do that. We did Arcane Trickster with uh, one of the pre-made characters in the last campaign. I, it wasn't my thing. 
the 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 woman that used to be a slave. I forget her name. We were like using Ray of Frost sneak attacks or something like that. That's a good point. I don't have anyone who can pick locks and disarm traps yet, so I should deal with that. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Guess it's gonna have to be Alchemist. All right. What? Uh, let's see. Grenadier. What stats does a Grenadier need? Don't they use Dex uh, to aim their stuff? It's a throw attack, so I think that uses Dexterity, right? And then I think it was like Int for damage. Int and Dex. Okay. So, let's go back to the race choice here. Uh, human, of course, is a solid option. Um, elf... Small resistance immunities. Dwarf. Dwarf. Gnome. What does Gnome get? Plus one on attack rolls against humanoids of reptile and goblinoid. Plus four to illusion. Gnome magic. Show no mercy. Halfling. Hmm. Elven Resistance's Adaptability. Plus two to Perception. I don't know, it seems like, uh... Oh, Tiefling has good Ant and Dex, do they? Oh, let's have, hold on, let's, uh, was there another Demon option? Or just someone with a cloak? Oh, here we go, here's a female Tiefling, that's fine. Uh... Wait, where's the... this thing? Oh, that's not the horns. Can we make it look similar to the, uh... Hmm. Alright, that's closest to the portrait. Huh, you can't get the hair bun like the picture has. Alright, guess we'll do that. Uh, make it darker. And... Okay. Alright. What type of demon spawn is she descended from? Uh, what, what did we need? Dex and Int. It's looking for a demon that has Dex and Int. Right here, Grim Spawn. Plus two to Dex and Ant, minus to Wisdom, plus Trickery, perfect, and Persuasion. So we're gonna hover Grim Spawn and read the others. Motherless, Strength Charisma, Con Charisma, Dex Charisma, plus two to Dex and Ant, minus two to Charisma, plus two to Persuasion and Stealth. So... And this gives this gives acid resist and plus to trickery, and this is going to be our lock picker. So I'm going to take Grim Spawn. So dreary and pessimistic, Grim Spawn are so enthralled by death, disease, and dilapidation that they often dedicate themselves to ending lives from behind the scenes as macabre saboteurs. Macabre, macabre, they're macabre saboteurs. Uh, okay. I don't. Think I need wisdom or charisma for this character or strength? Can I just go like all in on these stats? Uh, let's see. Trickery, UMD. Knowledge. I think I have. Let's do that. Uh, I'm. I could do so. I don't really want to bother with stealth. Uh, let's have a second person for perception for spotting traps. Well, no, that's a that skills with whiz, doesn't it? So let's not do that. We'll just get one point a point in stealth for now. Maybe I do a point in mobility later. Okay. Um. 
extra point, extra point, extra point. Right. When you hover the skill, it tells you who else your party has those skills. Oh, did they do that? Uh, let me see, Arcana. No one had that. All right, good. And World, somebody did. Trickery, nobody had. Stealth, got the highest. Tank has that. Mobility, Eve has that apparently. Low Religion, Eve had. Uh, perception, Muck has. Persuade, no one's got Persuasion. Hopefully that's not a problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, ability Focus Bombs, Weapon Finesse. Point blank shot. Probably point blank shot, right? I mean, ability focus bombs at some point, but I'm guessing we want the point blank shot. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Okay, choose the spells you want to have at the start. Uh, let's see. Uh, want to see all space damage plus every special stuff to us? That's, oh, True Strike was very useful sometimes. Uh, wait, how many? Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I get to pick seven. Heal, Enlarge Person, uh, Bomber's Eye. Something more accurately while... Let's just try to increase range now as well, okay. Uh, fire Belly. Magical fire warms your belly, granting you fire resist 5 and making your gut hot to the touch, but not enough to damage anything else. As a standard action, you can breathe fire. Uh, what's shield? One minute a level. Shield's pretty good. Stone Fist. Transform your hand into living stone while it's in effect your unarmed. Okay, so it turns your hand into rocks, so you can punch people with it. Reduced person doesn't hurt your damage and it ups your hit. You are correct. It's hard to bomb an extra. You throw bombs, you only hit a single target. Sure. So fast, yeah. All right. Um. You should have run. Chat. I need a name for a female bomber woman. What have you got? This is our last character. She'll be chaotic. Good. I need a female bomber woman name. An expected outcome. Bombette. Diffuse. <laughs> We're waiting. Wow. The suspense. Uh, Arya Stork? Arya Stork. Uh, I, I like a bomb bet and defuse the most of these options. Let's just combine them. Full name. Diffuse Bombet. What a fun. She was destined for greatness from birth. Or she's lying about her name. Alright. So, we got the druid. He's damage and utility. And he has a saber tooth tiger pet. We've got the tank. And we got uh Eve, uh, that's the healer, and we've got the bomber who can uh, blow stuff up if we need it. All right, let's do. Okay, this is frustrating me. Why can I not move these around? Okay, here we go. That's that's what I had to do. Had to remember how to do this, chat. Had to remember how to do this. That'll be the party formation. Uh, there's some torches in there. Alright, what did we start with? A sword... Who picked... Who did I pick up the torches? Did I put them in the stash? I must have put them in the stash. I got the windows flip-flopped. Okay, tiger's confirming. Alright, so, have the druid hold a torch. Uh, you switch to your bow, because I gave you all the dexterity in the world, and yeah, that's fine for now. Alright. Okay. 
Let's go not die on the first thing. Oh, spells. Do I have to preload spells? Uh, druid. What is that? Okay. Uh, so there's a snowball. Wow, snowball's back in the game. Alright, we don't want Entangle. That is insane. Uh, Magic Fang is solid. Acid, oh, Acid Maul is amazing. We want that. Maybe just two charges of Acid Maul. Uh, I gotta hop off, but you have fun. Cool. All right, Cellar Wolf. Thanks for being here, buddy. This one's your three. Thanks for being here. You just put the charges. Azamars have halos. Oh, yeah, I'll have to turn that on as well. And she needs hers turned on. I'm pretty sure she can turn any ability into a heal ability. So... Let's do remove fear and another bless, I guess. Bless is a very good spell. Alright. Let's do turn on a halo. No mistakes. Touch. Alright, cool. I do remember how to do this. Alright. Okay, let's go try not to die on the first bo the first thing in the dungeon and uh, lose all the preparation we just did. <laughs> What's your deal? A tall, bulky fellow with a shaved head studies you closely, paying special attention to your equipment. He grins. Hello, my friend. Do you want to look your finest? I have the best wares at the fairest prices in all the Tenebra's depths. Okay, so he's the merchant. Okay, so uh, come back when you have money or stuff to sell. Reset at the table for spell. Didn't it say you only get one per level? I mean, I guess there's no other option, huh? Oh, whoa, there's a dead guy at the table. Let's just sit next to him. Ooh, that was much faster loading time than this game used to have. Good job. I started to say Anet. That would have been the wrong company. Okay, let's load in. Let's see how long this takes, chat. Alright, not too bad. Like 10 15 seconds. Alright, hold on. Actually, the warrior's in front. No one stands in my way. Let's put him on fight defensively. Uh I stand ready. She's got her bow. No mistakes. Mutagen. Uh Dexterity. So she just drank a small potion that ups her dexterity. I'm there. I f I'm trying to remember because it's been a while. Did, didn't the game auto pause if any if someone in your party spotted a trap? I'm superior. Okay, hold on. All of you back up. Tank go forward. Oh, that's awesome. My uh, my main guy's already been hit twice and poisoned. We're off to a great start. Oof. Okay, let's use the uh, cleric to heal Muck. Uh, let's adjust this a little bit. I will see this through. All right, calming touch. All right, full health. Cool. Did I have to hit? Oh, are those treasure chests? No, they're not. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Hold on. Okay, I had to get closer. Uh, magic chainmail. Really? At level one, magic chainmail. All right, who can, who can use that? He can, all right, he can or she can. Uh, AC, all right, so his AC went up. What about you? Your Her AC went up. She's in medium now, though. Did her attack stay the same? Yeah, her attack stayed the same, so that's fine. Are you open to a pro tip? Yeah, man. I mean, you've been, you've already given me many tips since I started playing this. 
I'm back. What did I miss? We have started the dungeon, Zinky. I'm gonna send uh, Diffuse a Bombette in here. It is finished. All right, we disarm that. Uh, at the door, click the stealth button on the party, then you can look inside and summon the tank first. Where was that? Was that... Where was the stealth button? Ah! I'm off. That's it. He makes me think of, uh, like, Brick from Borderlands. Nice. I don't think anyone got hit. Didn't Muck take stat damage earlier? Where is it? No, I guess not. I thought the... thing po the centipede poisoned him. I guess I'm wrong. I made my saves. Oh, okay. Uh, a bunch of stuff worth some money. Wand of ear piercing screams. Ugh. That sounds like having a two year old. <laughs> I'm there. All right. How thorough is our map? All right. Let's check this at the door across the hall. Is there a hotkey for stealth? Yeah! This will hurt. Uh-oh. Let's have you guys go over there. Nice! Hey, uh, QWSED. We've already done the giveaway for tonight. But we do them every single Friday, so if you uh, stop by here again af uh, s anytime during tomorrow's stream or after, um, you'll be able to get raffle tickets for the next giveaway if you wish to do so. But every Friday we do a Humble Bundle giveaway. Is there anything else in here? I don't see anything. There we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, trap. All right, let's just undo stealth. Missed a tip. Oh. A uh, do loops near walls and by the chest, not chest so your party sees them. No. The chest, not chest. Got, oh, uh, you're talking about perception checks. Okay, I get you. We are rusty. They'll never see me. Hey, Crimson, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Die. One with the shadows. Out of my way! Strike as one! Smile it on with his five attacks, too good. Ooh, 12 damage. Warrior got to hit him. He's got fighting defi- Defeating powerful enemies sometimes provides a safe place to rest. Was that a powerful enemy? You click on a special object, the enemies drop to rest to recover your health of spells. Oh, so it made like a bonfire. Uh... Okay, that saves the game as well. All right. Um, how's it look like you after five minutes? Well, Dumb Millennial, I, I beat this whole game, which is hundreds of hours, so I, I do like it. Um, I like that the loading screens are faster. They're, I, we, we joked about it a lot, but the longest loading screen I had in this game was, I what was it, like four minutes? Like, it was super bad uh, with the load screens when it first came out. And some of them would bug out and just take an eternity. 
And on top of the fact that the load screens are so long, doing certain things like just running to town to sell, uh, to like, check on your town and then leave and go back to adventuring, at that time, that required seven loads. Uh, to the world map, to the town, to the castle, to the table to view your city, out of the table, back to the castle, out of the castle, back to the outer town, and then back to the world map. It was seven loading screens that were up to, at the worst, four minutes long. Um, so they clearly improved a lot of just the gameplay. That was easy. Lore check succeeded. Uh, XP gained 35. It doesn't actually say that anything happened. Just XP gained 35. Uh, Chinese Legolas. Yeah, come in game, you'll go get a drink with Loading Error. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking what about. Must. Oh, lots of money and a masterwork throwing axe. Okay. Oh, I missed some loot back there? Dang, okay, shoot. I gotta remember my uh, keyboard combinations here for how to check on stuff. What was the, uh... I swear there was a button. It's not Alt, Shift, or Control. I swear there was a button I could hold to make everything um, that was targetable highlight. Let them lick the walls more? Okay. Tab. Thank you. That's the command, the button I couldn't remember. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, lick the walls more. So he says uh, I missed something. Uh, I think I was like two rooms in when he reminded me I needed to hug walls for perception check. So I'll do that real quick. Muscle memory from BG32. Oh, oh uh, Baldur's Gate 2. Yeah, I never... The first games like this that I got into was the Neverwinter Nights series. And I loved them. I, I played through all of the Neverwinter Nights series, but I didn't even know that Baldur's Gate uh, Follow and in in any, like Icewind Dale, I didn't know that those existed until like a decade later. I just never came across them. All right, let's stealth. Ooh, Illusion Wall. Their life ends here. All right. Run them through. <sighs> this will hurt. <sighs> you should have run. <sighs> Strike. One left. I totally forgot about this lady's grenades. I just I haven't felt the need to do anything except auto, but it is level one, so. I do what I must. All right, lick walls. That reminds me of how one of a uh, a game that I dungeon mastered once, how the party almost full party wiped, and two people did. Uh, no, one person did get their character deleted from something like that. I uh, accidentally put them in a false sense of security. They went through like seven rooms in a row, just not intending to be empty, but just the order of the rooms they went in when they had freedom of the area, they uh, they went through like seven empty rooms in a row and they just started getting like impatient and reckless and just screwing around and they just started moving quicker and quicker and quicker through the dungeon and then they just barreled into this massive boss when they were being really reckless and it just ruined them. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I see a helmet. What's that? Uh, plus two to saving throws against sonic spells. And for now, we'll just put it on the dude in the front, I guess. That is not what that helmet icon looks like. What the heck? Uh, skill mill plus one. That's more armor for the tank. Can you use this? Her flat-footed armor class increases, and her attack does not go down, so that's fine. 
Uh, they can't use either of those. What else we got? Uh, the ability to cast magic missile spell three times per day as a third level wizard. All right, I'll we'll put that on her for now. Uh, can we sort? There we go. Excellent. That makes this much easier for me. Uh, da, da, da. So between getting a rest in the floor and going back up top after you step into the next floor, don't worry about using up your spells. How does Beneath the Soul Lands Dungeon handle resting? Do you get rations occasionally? Um, Borendak, I just started, but what White Tiger told us just minutes ago is you get a free rest when you kill the boss of a floor, and at the end of every floor, you also can pop back to town for one free rest. Um, if there's more than that, I haven't yet seen them. I'm off. You can turn off helmets and backpacks with the gear wheel near the paper doll. Uh, it's, I mean, it's fine. Um, if I find an especially ugly one, I will uh, turn them off. But if I find a hat that looks like Osri's hat, IRL, that sucker's staying on. That is not going anywhere. Do you ever find more party members, or is uh, four the hard limit? Like, is there a floor that when you pass it, you can get a fifth slot and a sixth slot? I'm there. Anything like that? You buy more part. Okay. Oh, so once we get enough gold. Okay. I wonder if we have enough already. And I mentioned this earlier, but if there's a... Uh, if there's a hotkey for stealth, that would be helpful. A mixie? Turn the bombs on. She does not have the thing yet where her bombs don't hurt allies. Oh my god. Turn that off. Turn that off. <laughs> she just blasted all of them. No. No. Bad. Borendag, thank you for the follow, my friend. Mark Black Douglas Bartholomew, you original Esquire the Fourth. Welcomes you, Borendag. To the bone zone where we are blasting our teammates with grenades I do what I must. should be why by default uh why is inspect by default level two alchemist will get that okay but i will try to be extra careful to level two as soon as she threw it i'm like wait isn't that oh no Uh, that's when OP grenades curve around the allies. Armag, an ancient chieftain of the Demarian Barbarians. Oh, can't read the rest. Too late. Alright, guys. Progression. We've gotten to the second floor for the first time in muck history. Uh, didn't you say it would just pop me back up to the surface? Uh, Our time has come. Ready I still have the mutagen. Yeah, well, the buffs are still active. Most of the other buffs are just like one minute long. I stand uh, ready. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have much. Most of these are just going to last 60 seconds, so I don't really want to burn them right now. All right, can we change the hotkey for stealth? Controls? Let's see if stealth is in here. Doesn't look like it, unless I overlooked it. Doesn't seem to be. Uh, Al for now, be well, chat. Good night, Devil Lady. I'll see you later, buddy. We will be victorious! Alright. So, I'm gonna have everyone turn around. Except him. And then they'll turn back. That way we get them all on our crazy armor class guy. Alright, you... No, not you. You... Let's try target her one. and turn bombs on. This should do with her targeted. There's something here. 
You should have run! Nice, one shot. Oh, turn that off. You're about to blast us. I see you thinking it. Alright. She was thinking it, chat. This is not possible. It's possible. A trivial there you go. Matter. See? You just had to believe. Uh, we just got a big old shield. Man, she is cooked extra crispy. Alright. So, check the tank shield and the druid. Am I correct? Oh, there it is. I was like, we looted a shield. I know we did. Alright. Uh, let's see. Armor goes down. Okay. Put the other one back on. Give it to the druid, then. Armor goes way, way up. Follow if you dare. Use guidance? Hang on. Uh, who had guidance? One minute or until discharge. Oh, you mean for, like, disarming traps? Because you'd have to, you have to redo it over and over and over. Well, okay, so I would want to use guardance for picking locks on treasure chests. In this game, you only get one attempt at lock picking per level, but a trap you can keep attempting to disarm it repeatedly. Escaping. Stand with me. Out of my way. A calculated risk. Make sure her bombs aren't on. No, they're not. Okay. Oh, was that the level up noise? I remember that noise. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, Druid boy. Level two Druid. Uh, three more points. Perception, lore, nature. Oh, I get an extra point. Uh, I don't think, okay, tank hat athletics. Someone have Arcana, yeah. World, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Just get an extra athletics. Okay, so not a lot of things to be picking there. Okay. Our fighter. Um, can I get the monk thing I wanted now? When was it that I could get the crane stance? I think it was level one monk. Uh, let me see here. Stealth. Yeah, that's not gonna be good. We've already got that, we've already got that. <laughs> you can actually get persuasion. This is so weird. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Monk bonus feat. He's already got dodge. Oh, crane style. Minus two penalty on attack rolls for fi uh Oh, you take only a minus two penalty on attack rolls fighting defensively, which I'm already doing. While using the style and fighting defensively, you gain additional plus one armor. That's what I wanted. Uh, perception? I mean, I can. Well, yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so I got Crane Style, which gives me another armor class, which armor class is king for this character. Okay, so now I need to make sure he's got Crane Style turned on and Fighting Defensively turned on, which he does. All right, our Cleric. Another level of Cleric. And Lore Religion, and she has an extra point also. Why does he keep giving me these? Persuasion. Uh, wait. Wait, go back. Yeah, okay. I didn't pick spells. Okay, so it says there's no new spells to choose. Alright, that's right. Her spells just come standard. She doesn't have to actually select them. Alright, Bomber Girl. Alchemist. Perception, perception, not persuasion. 
for her perception was not a uh, base skill, so it was going to cost twice as much. So I just decided to do persuasion. Okay. Uh, alchemist. Let's see. What are the options here? Precise bomb. It doesn't affect allies. Oh, wait. It's already selected. So do we just get that by default? Yeah, okay. So we got that by default. Uh, let's see. Explosive. Can splash 10 feet rather than 5. Direct hit will take fire damage every round. That seems really strong. Uh, a friend of mine tries to impress girls with drawing realistic paintings of the Ford F-150. He's a pickup artist. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Hobbits. We missed you. Uh, acid. Choking bomb. Seems like explosive is the best for low levels. Hmm. Okay. Well, no, explosive is the exact same damage as acid. Well, acid does 1d6 a round later. Explosives does 1d6 every round until it goes out and also has double the area of effect. Explosive seems better than acid in every way unless you're fighting like a fire elemental. So acid maybe later. I'm going to get explosive right now. But it's way more damage and bigger area. Obviously, there are some situations where I would rather have the... Uh, I, I'm getting perception so you don't yell at me. There are some situations where you would rather want the uh, acid. But for everything else, I would rather have what I got. Uh, I get to pick one thing here that I don't already have... I'm not really going to use any of these, so I'll just select that. Okay. I know what to do. I'm just going to get the mutagens I'm never going to use off of the bar. Alright, cool. Saving impossible, Iron Man. Also infusion so you can cast buffs on others. Okay. Do not oh my. I recognize that the Smilodon was going in first. I decided just to let it because uh, I've got a lot of charges of Calming Touch. I was just like, that's eh, okay if it gets hit. Shield doesn't last very long. Uh, Mage Armor was the one that was like really OP on pets. I'm there. I'm not sure if this party is even going to have mage armor. Because we, well, once we get a fifth member, we definitely will. Knowledge Arcana. I should probably can't. cast. I was just about to say I should probably cast guidance. I need to Messed it up. Becoming the distracted leads to becoming. Distracted. Is the respect mod broken? The new in-game option doesn't let you change the companion's class or main stats. Um, the respect mod? I'm not using a mod, so I can't say. Oh, disarm. Each party member is created by you. Uh, Mr. Grunson, in this game, I made them all custom. If you're playing the main campaign, um, there are many that join your party that their level one is already decided, but then you can do whatever you want with them after level one. But you can go to the tavern and hire a mercenary, which you design from level one, and you could seriously min-max if you wish to do it. Uh, we just got a bow. What is that? Short bow plus one. Is that an upgrade for you? No, you use a long bow. Okay. I'm off. Uh, da, 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 da. You're getting more views playing Pathfinder than most of other Gilmore 2 streamers. I do this game, though. The place is open beta. Um, It varies I based on the night. I, uh, I think my record ever in Guild Wars 2. Now, I had been raided a few times that night, but I had like 400 people. 
most nights, um, I'd say between 50 to like 110 viewers is about right for by Guild Wars 2 nights. It just varies greatly depending on who's available. Um, however, this game was one of the games that grew my channel the most. Uh, so I had, uh, I, I got a lot of growth playing Pathfinder like the day it came out. And for many months after that. I've got all, on the YouTube channel, I've got like the entire playthrough recorded. I am superior! Whoa! What is wrong with that wolf? It's got eyeballs all over it. Someone get that wolf looked at. Let yourself open. This will hurt. Let's try this way. Was that the explosive bomb? I didn't see it try- no, she still has three charges. That was something else. Uh, I guess that thing did Pillar of Flame, like, on itself. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was the icon for the boss fight ending. I didn't even realize that was a boss. So we just got a free rest. Alright, so... Hold on. Let's put Guidance here. No mistake. All right, I'm gonna try to build that habit. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so I need to hire them. Yes, so Borendak, at the beginning of the game, you start with enough money. Uh, at the beginning of this game mode, you start with one person you made and enough money to hire three more people if you wish to. Um, and then once you have enough money, I guess you could go to town and have a total party of six. Hey, Joe Neils, guess who's been drink lake king? Hey, buddy. I'm glad to hear you had a good night and you made it home. Thank you for that resub. Tier oh, that's tier three. Dang. That's the big money one. Joe Neal's resubbing at tier three for, for the fourth month in a row. Dude, you're a legend. Thank you for your continued Hello. support of the channel. Muckluck Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the fourth welcomes you, Joe Neal's, back to the penthouse. Mmm. It's rare that I get to say that. Over there! <laughs> the trap. Over there! One with the shadows. Okay, so doing a stealth trap disarm didn't work. Alright. Alright, so I'm trying to not set the trap off as best as I can here. Smile it on, don't you do it. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Do not step on that. Sorry, Chip. I just, I just served the cat. Oh, come on. She stepped on it. Not fair. This is a Guild Wars 2. Who are you? <laughs> hey, Joe. We're doing some, uh... We did Guild Wars 2 for almost three hours. And uh, we're now playing some of the oh. new Pathfinder Kingmaker DLC. This is going to be our new uh, side game uh, alongside Guild Wars 2 until we get through the new DLC. I don't know how long it is. I don't a know if it's roguelike. I don't know if it goes forever or if it has an end. No, it has to have an end because the whole plot with the eggshell thing, right? I'm there. All right, so we just got another full hit. So this level had two bosses on it. It is finished. Huh. Pay attention. Um, is there a way to quick travel to town, White Tiger? It is finished. I I imagine I you do don't have to I just must. go back up every single floor. I wish you would listen, dude. I'm trying. I'm trying. You what you told me was after each boss you could go to town and get a rest. I do remember you saying that. I don't see how to do that with it just a click click. Unless I just go down the stairs and then go back up. Click the door icon when you go down the stairs. Okay, so that's it. Alright, I guess we're done with this floor. Unless I missed some secrets. You can never go back to the floor you just left. Gotcha. 
So I go back down, and then if I go up again, I'll appear on the on the uh, on the town level. Ah, what the heck? All right, let's go back up and see if we can hire more people yet. Uh, a person who learned from the Thyco days. Yeah, it's best to be definitely fun. Uh, I want to remind you of my mind while holding you in place for 100 for pay. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Sionis. Yeah, that, that's one of the one class I didn't have a lot of uh, experience with. I remember the my very first dungeon master uh, in high school, a guy who owned all the books who invited me to my first D&D uh, &D game. And I was looking through his books, and one of the books was like psionics. And I was like, oh, what's this? And he goes, put that down. You're not allowed to play that. And I'm like, I was just looking at it. He's like, put it back. And he would not let any of us touch that book. <laughs> like, he just... I didn't understand really until later that he was just like, no, we're not doing that. All right, uh, let me see those wares. Um, <coughs> okay, so here's all of the rubbish items. So sell those. And then... Oh, I didn't realize this had a special ability. Fearsome Mace of Twark. Uh, 1d8. Oh, shoot. How did I... Hold on. Masterwork Falcata, Falchion, Scimitar. Can't... I think... I think a druid might be able to use a Falchion? I'm trying to remember. No, I guess he can't. Okay. I don't know why I thought that. Master two bladed sword. All right, that's a lot of gold. Let's see, we got almost three thousand gold. Let's see the price of companions before we get gear upgrades. Uh, da, 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 da. you get a little bad. I go first. You learn from the line. So I learned that D and D was bad with it. Sorry to keep in mind that zero is no longer better than one. Pathfinder was more reasonable. That's the Goblin Mace. Mace of Twerk. Pathfinder's more balanced. Warp Five's quotes are not sarcastic. Check all your guys' mark. Masters, by the way, you got. Um, it was 1d6. Even with Masterwork, I'd rather have the 1d8. Uh, short bow. She has a long bow. She can't use short bows. She's throwing bombs and has a light crossbow proficiency. And he can't use falchions. I didn't. I don't think I wasted any of that or made any mistakes, Tiger. I don't think any of them could use that. All right, I need companions. 2,000 gold for the fifth hero. Okay, we can. All right, fifth hero. Um, we've got spell damage with the bombs. I'm thinking of making Shulk again, because she was so good. Let me see, hold on, let me look at the classes again. So, what I did the time I beat this game, and I did it almost entirely on... It was a challenging, then hard, and then uh, unfair. I did, like, 99% of the game on hard mode. The last couple of levels were so insane. I was having to rest and then do, like, four minutes of buffing after every single fight. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Deals. And I got, in, I got tired of it. So I turned the game from hard down to normal and just finished the last few levels of the game in the final boss. But this character was in that party that I'm about to show you, assuming I go through with making it. It was a barbarian mad dog uh, with reach weapons. So she could, uh, with a reach weapon, like a, a pike, she could hit things that were an additional five feet away. So she could hit things up to 10 feet away. And then I would use a large person on her and she could hit things up to 15 feet away. And with attacks of opportunity, she was just like playing whack-a-mole across the whole battlefield. And because she was a mad dog, she came with a pet. They toned down chapter seven and the beginning. Okay. Joe Neils, that's your... That's Joe's 250th gifted sub in the bone zone. Maclag Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Fourth welcomes you, Acid Bath 94, to the VIP Lounge. Mmm! Joe Niels, thank you yet again for your continued generosity. Acid Bath, if you're uh, still there, I hope you enjoy those emotes, my friend. It's always fun to call out when people are trying to slide into the bone zone in other, uh, in other channels. 
Uh, da, 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 do I want anything else here more than I want Shulk? I don't know. Oh, the other option was the, uh, what is it, the Sylvan Sorcerer? The Sylvan Sorcerer also gets an animal companion. That's another fine choice. The Mad Dog... I think that I'll get the Sylvan Sorcerer last for purposes of buffing, because her buffs will be pretty weak at, at level 1. Okay, Barbarian, Mad Dog, let's do it. Uh, but Mad, it doesn't have to be an Orc. I it just did that because I picked this portrait. <laughs> Flip for follows, do it, no, muck with the power up. Flip, have you ever played uh, games like this? Um, I haven't known you that long. I don't know if you're into the uh, classic RPGs or if you're just here because of my charming personality. Uh, da, 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 da. Half orc weaponry, plus two to persuasion. No, none of this really helps right now. It doesn't really help right now. Do resistances. All of this could be really good. Or Tiefling could be nasty. Uh, da, 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 da. Or just human and get more feet and more skills. We've already got an Azamar and a Tiefling and a human in our party, so any of those we find. Usually Azamar's the best race, Hyder says. Yeah, I remember how we had a bunch of those before. Bro! Oh man! How? 1500! That's 1,500 bits. Oh my gosh, guys. Drunk Joe strikes again. That is, guys, that is 45 cup noodles of ramen. Bro. Merkleck Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire IV thanks you, Joe Niels, for your generous contribution. Mm. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, you are insane. You are insane. Do we need, guys, do we need, uh, Thin Shulk, Fit Shulk, or Thick Shulk? I'm yeah, about to flavor. Richard Grico. <laughs> when is cup noodles a form of monetary measurement? I survive on cup noodles. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Uh. Welcome to Flavor Town. Trying to get Chip to join in. All right, let's. We don't have any thick members of the party. Let's let's get a, th a thick fighter. Uh, what are the hair? Is there like a barbarian? Oh man, all of these are way too kempt. I guess we'll just throw it back. Uh, to anyone that has uh, ever had one cup of noodles, good sir, because we all want more. <laughs> Beard? Oh, it's not a choice. Uh, what was the portrait I picked? It's like. Red hair or something? Um, is that a? That's a little better. Okay. All right. Uh, more smilodons. We are we are smilodons here. All right. We need strength. That's strength and charisma. Int charisma. Con charisma. Con wisdom. Dex charisma. Okay. So only angel blooded. So. One of Shulk's ancestors got touched by an angel, chat. And now it is the beautiful, strong Shulk. Okay. Uh, Emberkin? Does Tiefling have, like, a strength con or something? Because I'd go Tiefling if it did. Uh, you know what? I, I want to find out. Hold on. Uh, Dex Charisma, Dex Wiz, Con Wiz, Dex Int, Con Wiz. I'll look at that in a second. I don't want to lose my train of thought. Strength Wiz, Strength Wiz, Strength Charisma, Con Charisma, Dex Charisma, Dex Ant. Okay. I'm Martini55. Thank you for that follow, buddy. Muck, like Douglas Bartholomew, Reginald Esquire the Fourth. Welcome to you. I'm Martini55. To the Bone Zone. Mmm. Okay. Uh, just put this back to normal. Alright, let's go back. So, Angel-Blooded. And Smilodon. 
Oh, Joe, they just got here. Oh my gosh, unsubbed people are not safe around drunk Joe. Marklick Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Fourth welcomes you. I'm Martini55 to the VIP lounge. Mmm. Enjoy those emotes, Joe. Thank you again, my guy. You're amazing. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Okay. Did they get the pet at level one or level four? I guess they get it at level one. Uh I think my sorcerer and the cleric get it at level four, and then they buff it at five. Okay. How much dex did we need for the important the important feats? I don't know. All right, turn into wisdom charisma all the way down. Minimum brain power. We need a little bit of con and a lot of strength. <laughs> a lot of strength. Uh, oh, that's right. Combat reflexes. You get additional attacks of opportunity each turn based on your dex modifier. So we do need a little bit of dex. So, uh, I'm gonna stop at 14, because that way she'll have a total of three attacks of opportunity per turn. Um, so with that, we'll just put some extra in con. Okay, two points over here. Probably athletics mobility. For her mighty muscles. Combat reflexes? I'm thinking combat reflexes. I'm thinking it, guys. That is one of my fave things. Yeah, we're gonna do that. You can't make me not do that. Wherever my legs carry me. <laughs> oh, talking about her legs, we just met. The road calls me. All right. Take the bait. Shulk. That's she Hulk smashed together. Uh, guys, give me a, la a last name for a crazy muscle woman. I need a last name. Just something, something fun. Gonna be chaotic? Sure, we'd be chaotic. Whatever. We're not multi-classic with her. Make a large huge. <laughs> Shulk. Make a large huge. <laughs> so she's Scottish, apparently. Oh my gosh, Joe. I spoil you. And you spoil me. Oh. Double J game time. Raiding with a party of two. Thank you, Double J. Mucklick Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Fourth welcomes you, Double J Game Times dear viewers, to the Bone Zone. Mm. Uh, wait, what? Oh, she's getting level two immediately. Okay, so it's retroactively catching her up for the uh, level she missed, uh, even though we made her later on. <laughs> oh man. Mucklick Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Fourth welcomes you, Double J Game Time, to the VIP Lounge. Mm. Enjoy those emotes. I hope you have fun with them, Joe. Thank you again. You are very generous normally and even more generous when you're drunk. <laughs> if you ever go too far and need some of this back, man, let me know. Oh. Uh, hello, hello. Saying hi before I go to bed. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you for that raid, buddy. They will always level new mercs to your mains. Okay, so is that just specific to the roguelike White Tiger? Because um, I'm pretty sure the main game didn't work that way. I crave for adventure. All right. Uh, oh, but she is. But okay, so she is behind on the XP within that level, though. Okay. Um. All right, we got two saber tooths now. Where's Honest Guy? There he is. It did. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Hmm. So, in a try-hard world, it would have been better to come uh, do this right when a level-up had just occurred. But it also would have cost more money. Okay, I need a two-handed weapon, preferably with reach for Shulk, for this uh, build to work. Ah, uh, type. Let's see. Can I sort by price? Price in ascending order. Perfect. This is what I need. All right. Is a Bardicha reach weapon? Six foot melee. I think it is. Yeah, a Bardicha is a reach weapon. I am gonna go B E R a weeb and play some Persona Five and watch some My Hero Academia. <laughs> Less than three. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. That's fifteen hundred more bits. 
Oh, dude, My Hero Academia is my favorite cartoon, by the way, so man after my own heart there. I've never played Persona, but I hope you have fun. Thank you again for your donation. Mark like Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Four thanks you, Joe Niels, for your generous contributions this whole night. Love you, buddy. You uh, have fun relaxing. Uh, is there anything better than the 1d10 bard each for a level 1 reach weapon? Glaive is also 1d10. Um, it's a times 4 weapon. Uh, and what about the bard each? What was it? It's a times 5. Wait, no, sorry. Uh, that's the number that they've got for sale. I'm reading the wrong line. It's a 19 to 20 times 2 is what I was intending to look at. And Glaive is on a 20, it's a times 3. I think I'll, I'd rather have the double crit chance rather than the higher uh, modifier. Now, oh, but White Tiger's a fan of the Glaive. Oh, well, they're, they're close enough that I, I'm whatever. Um, all right. That's a marshal, so she should be able to use it, and it's six foot range. All right, cool. Okay, so let's go to Shulk and. Here we go. All right, so now she can hit things even when she is behind the other party members. And she can attack opportunity from a decent distance. Uh, let's go to our formation. Ah, what the heck? Happened. All right. Something like this. Should be fine. Okay. So now, if I go into the dungeon, it will put me back right on the floor I was on, based on what Tiger was saying earlier. Uh, you can sell the extra alchemy, uh, the that alk extra weapons to your cheapskate. Uh, a bunch of fireball. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we haven't had to use the channel wounds yet. Okay, this is not something you would think to see, you're gonna see on like the third floor of a dungeon. Freaking Cthulian stuff everywhere. Although I gotta say, these monsters look like some kid's room on the wall with crayon. <laughs> All right. Oh. The dragon did say it was warp reality. We're entering the crayon realm. Our victory is certain. I spy. Wait, where? Ah, I just saw it. There's a trap right there, chat. All right, hold on. Nixie. Ooh, that was Shulk's debut. She just walked up and said, nope, and destroyed him. Atta girl. Alright, we're gonna have Diffuse the Debombet. Disarm this. I can't. You can. A trivial matter. I she went from I can't to a trivial matter. Yeah, we gave her, like, what, 20 base strength? It's insane. Uh, alright, so that's a door, but we're not done checking out this room. Diffuse the Bombet. I feel like I'm talking like a Star Wars alien. Mina, mana, Krishna. The fuel set the bomb bet. And I'm like sitting here cussing up a storm in Jawa and I don't even know it. This is muck in his element. So, uh. <laughs> Guild Wars 2 was out of my element. That's why it gets so salty. Doing funny geek jokes. 
All right, invisible. Uh, where? Oh, there he is. I was like, where's Tank? Oh, shadows embrace me. I don't know which of them. I was that Shulk that went shadows embrace me. I for I forgot who I gave the crazy woman voice to. Woo! 12 reduced damage. Yo, look at these things that are all, like all infested or hairy or something. Alright, let's do guidance on her Great since you get one shot at Picklox. Oh, what is that? Give me that magic belt. What do we get? Plus two con. All right, put that on the tank. Sweet. Uh, we gotta loot the hairy eyeballs. Uh, the alcohol you should try using the inspect key. Wait, what? What does that do? Can't immediately tell what that does. Oh, does it just show stuff side by side? No, it's doing that anyway. Use it on a live monster. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. It doesn't have to be live. It can be a dead monster. Spitting giant centipede. Madness bearing creature. See that white tiger where we both learned something? Together. Charge spit and Koopa de Gracie. Uh, Madness-bearing creatures are immune to mind-affecting spells and abilities and can apply rage, confusion, and other harmful effects on enemies when they attack. They're mesmers. They're freaking mesmers. Oh, I forgot to stealth. Uh... La la la. Let's turn that off. It's a bit too much. Uh, just for having it on all the time. It's a bit too much, uh, size of the chat box. Uh, let's see. Each four has a template for the monster. Some might be electric, some might always do confusion. Gotcha. So, uh, if you, like, if you saw if they're all electric, you could use, like, communal resist energy or something if you had it at the beginning. I think I see what you're getting at. Have they made an easier way to see these sm Okay, so I can see the Smilodon's help bars right there. That's a little bit better than... Do you remember when I used to have to go to each Smilodon and see their hit points on this portrait? Like, I had to click through each individual one, and then, like, do, check, move it to the side, do, check, move it to the side, and then figure out which one needed heals and stuff? It looks like they've at least made that a little bit better. Um, I have to select everyone and open the inventory if I'm in the middle of a fight, but it's better than it was. Okay, who had Arcana? Was it you? Yeah, okay, because we failed one of these earlier. So let's do Guidance on her. And then... Oh, that leveled us. I'm like, what just happened? We, we dinged. Okay, cool. All right, Druid. <laughs> I keep thinking of uh, when we were in that raid the other night and they kept saying Druid Fluid. <laughs> I, I keep thinking of that. Uh, okay. This is our melee guy. Um, how much text did I give him? Eventually he's gonna be Reach. So I want him to have combat reflexes eventually. How much strength did I give him? 16, not bad, not a ton though. 
Um, I kind of regret giving him 18 whiz. I wish I'd done 16 whiz, 18 strength. That's not huge. Can do toughness. Or maybe a team feat would be good. Or pa power attack. Probably do power attack. Power attack or team feats? You're thinking precise strike? Ha what was the requirement for outflank? That one was amazing. Where's outflank? Outflank. BAB4. Okay, so I can get it at a higher level, just not right now. Sneak attack damage is force DM. Oh, force damage. Okay. Uh... Okay. I'm not opposed to it. I, I said or a teamwork feat. That is a teamwork feat. So I can do that. I am okay with that. Um, he did, however, just get some new spells. So we've got a lock and load. Not that I've used these at all yet. Um, can he change spells to heals? Did he have spawn? Oh, no. He changes them to summons. That's right. All right. Uh, so we've got one level of monk now. So this guy has the armor bonus from Monk. So we're going to go back to Fighter and do Athletics and Mobility. And... Okay, let's look at the bonus combat feat first because this is a shorter list. Deflect arrows. You can't do that while holding a weapon. Precise, I could do Precise Strike, with uh, which would kick it, you know, turn on the other Precise Strike. Uh, combat mobility, plus four armor against AWO when you're moving within a threat. He's not usually moving within a threatened area. Armor focus. That. Because that is... Is he in heavy armor right now? I don't know if he is. I will have him in heavy armor soon. Okay. And then this one. Congress coordinate defense, coordinate maneuvers, crushing blow. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, I'm going to hover precise strike. Shield wall or toughness. Maybe toughness later. I want to do precise strike so the feats kick in. Not being attacked. Oh, wait, that's true. That's true. Hold on. Where is blind fight? Uh, visible attacker gets no advantages to hitting you. Okay. So that's that's a big deal. Okay. That's right. This guy, I need to prioritize his defense on this character. I just need him to be an immovable object up front. And everything else will will uh, happen with time. All right, cleric. Next level, she gets a pet, and we want lore. That's all we get. Lore religion. That's all we get. Um, we want stuff involving channels. What did I get last time? Probably selective channeling. Yeah, I did. Probably extra channels. If not, then... If not channels, then point blank shot. And you're agreeing with point blank shot, okay. Many new spells, so she gets to load something in her book. Oh, wait, did he have another one? Yeah, he just got rank two spells. Oh, I can get my favorite buff, and it lasts for 30 minutes. Oh, Barkskin. Anyone who's known me a long time knows that Barkskin's like one of my favorite buffs in the game. It's it's so dang good. And it already lasts for a half hour now. You'll never run out of channels or bombs. The floors are short. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Bane... And domain slots, protect from alignment. Aid is good. Do I have communal resistant energy yet? No, I don't. Nikki SD, thank you for that follow. Mucklug Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Fourth welcomes you. Nikki SD to the bone zone. Mm. Uh, lesser restoration is always a fair choice for stat damage. Um, I like having one of those. Aid is nice. I'll do that for now. Well, may maybe 
And then, you know what? Maybe bull strength. Slap that on um, Shulk at the beginning. Yes, the bones though. Don't make it weird. We just like bones here. That's all. Okay. Uh, enlarge person, reduce person. But I can't cast this on other people yet because I don't have that one thing you told me about. Th there was something I needed to get with alchemy to be able to buff other people, and I need to keep an eye out for that. Okay. Um, perception and UMD. There we go. Infusion. Got it. All right, point blank shot. Does point blank shot help with bombs? That's what I was asking about that earlier. Yes, it does. See, precise strike. So spell pen, toughness to up in fighting. I know you're telling me I don't need them, but she's only got like freaking four bombs right now, maybe five. Like, that's all she's got. So I really want extra bombs. I want extra bombs for days, so I can just use it on the whole floor. Alright, I'll do point blank now, but I might get extra bombs later. Don't fall for that trap. For what trap? For getting extra bombs? Okay. Let's do that. And... All right, so we had, okay, we had just activated that thing that leveled us up. Uh, da, 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 how are you? Do you play Pathfinder? Of course, I love this game. You have like 14 bombs. How much does she have right now? She has six right now. Go ahead and do that. All right, so, uh, yeah, okay. I need to rest to be able to get my spells. I don't have them yet. I'll carve my name into your flesh. Okay, we're gonna have everyone back up except the tank. Is uh, tank is gonna move forward? Okay. What? My whole team just murdered my cleric. Oh my gosh, that's so dumb. Like, my super decked out freaking barbarian just turned and one shot her. You said if I go to town, I can't come back to the same level. How can I go buy a res scroll and come back for her? Can I not? Is it, is she just gone? Is there no way to get her back up? You carry the body. All right, that's an option. I can't click on her. Oh, it's like RP carry? Okay, so I go to the dragon. Oh my god, dude, she got, I guess, madnessed, and they freaking turned and one-shot her before I could realize what was happening. It was so quick. Like, I'm pretty sure Shulk just turned and, like, critted her. Is it, is it in here? Smile it on attacks Eve, miss. Shulk does 10 damage to Eve. Shulk does 2 damage to Eve. Eve makes an attack of opportunity and misses. Uh, Smilodon hits Eve. Smilodon bites her. And then Shulk hit her for 14. Muck hit her for 3. Smilodon hit her for 7, and she died. So Shulk got 2 huge hits, and Smilodon got a decent hit for the, the end. Oh my gosh, like everybody just turned and was like, get this crap out of here. Ah, oh, man. Is that a ring of protection? It looks like it. Yeah. Alright. He's at 25 AC now. Oh my god, that's stuck. Oh man, I hope I can afford whatever this price is.
I hope there's no more levels like that, too. I won't be able to keep affording it. What's up, Chip? Okay. <sighs> Let's go see the price for resing. Six, oh man, I hope it not, I hope not. Uh. Uh. I don't see that option. Um, do I have him cast the scroll? Scroll of Raised Dead. I I can't I don't think I can afford a new Merc either. The last one was two thousand five hundred. Dude, that's so dumb. Like no one hit the brakes, even when she was knocked out. I'm well, that's six hundred. This sells for nothing? I wonder if that's like a quest item. I mean, I can't even get, cl I can't get even close to 6k. I can keep her in the party for now, but it's 4,500 to get another companion. Man, this is a bummer. This is a super bummer. You can't reload because of this whole Iron Man thing. Time's not waiting. I guess we gotta go like this, and the next time we get 6,000 gold, we gotta res her, and she'll be many levels behind us, I think? I don't, I don't know if she'll still level up. I mean, it wasn't just Shulk. Mucked and the kitty cats all turned and shanked her at the same time. I'm not sure if uh, Bomber Girl did try to as well. Ready for anything. Alright, uh... Da -da -da. Twenty-five armor. Twenty-seven. Alright, so it did stack. Okay. No mistakes. I crave for adventure. Focus on the goal. So I guess I'll just use the bombs till they're out. Well, no, there's only seven. I'll try to save them for at least a boss room or something. Those two are locked on the tank. That's good. And see how she's attacking from the back? Like, that's my goal. Okay, and our first time getting hit by an AoE, and we don't have a freaking healer. I am most upset. 
Thorny ring. This is a sickening entanglement. 4,875 gold. I'm going to sell that. How much do you get when you sell something? Is it half? I think it might be half. Oh, uh, man. If you only get half the gold, that's still not enough. You can use from the inventory? Oh, okay. Can't cast Guidance. Guidancer's dead. A trivial matter. Someone just leveled. Shulk did. What do we get? Uh, danger Sense. Plus one Reflex A to avoid traps and plus one Dodge. Oh, man. If only we'd had that a minute ago. Uh, athletics mobility is fine. Feet. <sighs> Dire dodge. Probably precise strike. Um. Okay. Halo. Time's I'm pretty sure the only person with a. Oh no, that's I'll right. She was an Azamar. As I say, that she's gone. All right, there we go. Yeah, I, I for I was uh, mistakenly thinking my only Azamar because the portraits was the dead one, but I had uh, two more. I keep wanting to hit F5 to quick save, but it's not going to do anything. <laughs> It's going to do nothing at all. Our victory is certain. <laughs> that was the boss. Ranger's Diary. Okay, we're rested. Hey, Muck, hey, Muck, hey, Muck, what you saving those 18 healing potions for? It is well, that's why I started handing some out to people so that I could see what was easily sellable. I mean, I wasn't saving him for anything. I'm saving him for when I need to heal and my uh, my healer's dead. You know, just in case. They'll never see me coming. I mean, I really don't have an alternative way of healing. Oh, I need a buff again. Oh man, this thing. Uh, that's on. Halos are on. Enemy approaching. This should do it. Oh, my gosh, what was that? Someone just, oh no, that was the, I thought that 18 was coming off of Muck. I'm like, what? That was Acid Splash. Okay, let's switch to nades. This thing is not going down. At least not quickly enough. Oh, it's down, okay. It was a lot of dodges there. Lord check religion, guess who's dead? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pretty sure we just failed that. Oh, we missed something on the body. There we go. One gold. They'll never see me coming. Probably gonna go back to town after this floor and see if I can liquidate stuff to get her back. Yeah. 
Let's uh, activate grenades. Oh, actually, I don't even know if it's gonna be needed. Yo, what are you doing back there? Come on. A calculator. Yes. Well, it's on fire. Ooh, acid maw. Ooh, that was a boss. Okay. All right. All right. Got a box here. Trying to disarm it or pick it, whatever it is. Is that another ring of protection? Uh, yes, it is. Put that on the second melee. Uh, second most up front melee person. Lots of extra bombs right. Yeah. I just wasn't sure if like the time between rests would gradually get longer as you you know went through the dungeon. I was a little reckless in there, but this floor doesn't have madness, so it's kind of whatever. Uh, let's see. What is that? Looks like a guitar. Oh, almost a thousand gold. Wand of Seen Viz. Alright, definitely need that money badly right now. Uh, every five floors is a big boost to items. What do you mean by big boost? Like, I just suddenly start seeing plus two items instead of plus one? Like, that kind of thing? They'll never see me coming. Gotcha. What floor am I on now? Four. I'm on four right now. like a mess hall that's flooded or something. Uh, merchant gets new stuff around the same time. Wow, the merchant was already filled to the brim with really cool stuff when I first got there. Oh my gosh, we're free to clear with 12 HP. Oh, someone just leveled. She's gonna be so behind. Oh, man. Is this madness again? Blah! How is it? Is it as awesome as it sounds? It's pretty hardcore. My uh, cleric got hit with a madness spell earlier and my entire party turned and just one shot killed her and I'm trying to frantically save up enough money to get her resurrected. Uh, but <laughs> when I, I should, I'm gonna finally get a rezzed and she's gonna be behind us on level. I don't even know if I should just let her go and make, get a new cleric. Uh, Let me go down here to Honest Guy. Cheaper for new cleric? Well, they just leveled, so the price of a new person will go up as soon as I level somebody here. Let me try it. Druid, that gives us our first wild shape and resist nature's lure. Uh, we want more strength. Perception, athletics. Done, okay. Yeah, but the price increases for hiring a new hero when you're a higher level, remember? So it might go up. Unless they've automated that process. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, nice. That is the, uh, that is the actual price, 48. I was afraid it was going to get halved. You can't cheat it anymore. So you're set... Okay, because remember before, you had to actually fulfill the level up to uh, to see it properly. Yeah, it is 4,500. Oh, man. But, okay, she... Is her freaking... Can I get her? Oh my gosh, she's like covered in blood. 
Oh, I can take her stuff. I was afraid of, that I wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, man. Oh, wait. No, she continued to get XP, dude. She continued to get XP. So she's over level 4. She stayed exactly caught up with them. Huh. Isn't that interesting, Chip? Uh, yeah. Well, I left the, the shared XP... Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, call it sentimental attachment, dude. I, I know it's not the mathematically smart thing to do, but I don't want to remake the whole character. I really don't. So I'm just going to do this. Um... How do I get him to do this? That's not gonna work, is it? How do I... How do I get him to cast it? I'll help you in any way I can. Select her portrait and use it from inventory. I'm just afraid that it's going to use Muck's use magic device skill to do this, and it's going to fail. I'll... Yeah, see, it just makes an error message. It's got a red border. It's counting it as being used from Muck. She can try it. He's not dead. I I know he's not dead. I'm trying to use it on her. Oh, that's weird. Because she had it lit up. When I had it in her... No, hold on, Tiger. When I had it in her bag, it had a white border. When I had it in Muck's bag, it had a red one. So it looked like I would use her, cast it, and then target her. Which is how it worked in the original game. Which we played for like 200 hours. That's how it worked over there. Druids don't have raised dead. Neither do alchemists. But she has used magic device, which I was afraid of it using that, because use magic device, you roll the dice, and it sometimes poops the scroll. Which is why I did not... That's exactly why I did not think it was auto-targeting, guys. Is because it was considering it from the druid. Okay. In any case, she's back up. Uh, we can get, sell that stuff. Ranger's Diary. Um, Masterwork Cigar. Is that better than what you've got? 1 to 6. No, it is definitely not better. Uh, okay. Why can't I level her up? Do I just need her to get, like, a kill on something, and then she'll get the plus sign? Hmm. Uh, Alchemist... Infusion. Lousy hours to use an alien so other people as well. That's what we want. Infusion. And. Tiger, do we want Dex or Imp? Always Imp, he says. Uh, more bark skin is good. Full strength, delay... Oh, we don't have anyone in the party with delay poison yet? Do we? Does the cleric have that? Hold on. 
Yeah, okay, we do, we do, we do, we do. Let's just have another person with bark skin. It's awesome passing that around. More charges of it per day. Oh, look. It just popped. Alright, so the cleric will now have a level 1 smile on. Uh, and at level 5, we can get the feet that will make it a level 5 smile on. Um, more decks. Lower religion. Uh, hmm. It's 11. It's 11. Point perception. Ah, uh, yes, Boon Companion. That was the name of the feat. Okay. So, let's check this stuff real quick. Uh, let's see. Magic Fang. Can get that. And... What about her? Another Charge of Bless. What is Blessing of Courage in Life? Let's turn around and see if gets fear of death. Ah, uh, it's too much. Let's get the light poison. Okay. Alright. We've got three Smilodons now. Let's rest at the table, and let's go to the merchant real quick. See what we can uh, liquidate, and if there's anything else we can buy with our remaining stuff. Show me your wares. All right. Uh, don't need this stuff. Giant spider legs. <laughs> uh, I want to look at those books at some point, just not right now. Wand of C and Viz. At least while I don't need money, I'm not going to worry about selling that. What else would be good to get right now? Uh, wow. 140,000 gold. What is Terran's touch? Cast harm spell once per day and greater false life twice per day. Oh, if I buy rations, can I rest? Not that I need to rest more often. Um, hmm. Weapons. I mean, I guess the weapon that would make the biggest difference would be a better glaive. Which is 2400. I kind of, well, we don't even have a six party member. Let's save up till we can get a six party member. Um, oh, I thought I did already. I thought I did that at the dragon. So let's get rid of that and that. Hold on, what is hers? One to 10 and it's masterwork. So it gets plus one to attack. And this is two to nine. That's fine, just sell that. It's really close though. Okay. All right, so I wanna save up money until I get a six party member and I then can buy another raised dead scroll. So just for emergencies. Because if we were really deep in the dungeon where we're, I was actually having to use cleric spells, it would be real bad if I had her die again. Um. A, probably a Sylvan Sorcerer. It is a mage-type character that gets a pet. So I could have four Smilodons, and then I'd have ten party members, basically. Uh, okay. And at that point, I would have the winning class combination I use to be most of the game, like the normal campaign, Nikki, on hard mode. Other than, like, the final fight where it got really tedious. Oh gosh, what is that? Hold on, what did you just drop? I believe this is supposed to represent me on Pathfinder. No, 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 no one needs to see that. That's nothing, don't worry about that. I realized what it was after. Uh, 
I'm busy. We hit that guy for zero a lot. A long bow. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I forgot. Uh, hold on. Death creature. Increase resistance against negative energy damage. Uh, okay, not madness. So, crazy walls don't always mean madness. That's good. Do you not remember what... Do you yeah, I do remember what uh, damage reduction is. Also diminishing returns. No matter which one you mean. Just making conversation, to White Tiger. I almost called you Death Tiger. Death Tiger, I love it. Oh no. We've buffed him. I don't know, you say mad, and the first thing I like end the sentence with is Mad Hatter. Hey Chip. You've never like just hung out over there before. What's up? He's just like laying in the doorway. He's like, I'm ready to escape if the situation calls for it. And one of these Smilodons is level 1, and the others are level 4. So, one of them is far weaker than the others. However, uh, one perk that I remember the Smilodons give your party, which was really awesome, is it counts your pet's carry capacity. Like, it adds their strength to your party's carry capacity. So with a whole bunch of pets in the party, it had the unexpected benefit of giving me, like, mountains more of stuff I could carry. So, like, I remember when I would use, like, use party's bull strength, I could carry tens of thousands of pounds near the end of my first playthrough. A trivial matter. So I see, we're like level four. What can we carry right now? 1,720 pounds. With no buffs. So it's a pretty nice little bonus. Champion Skeletal Archer. Is this the boss of the boat? Nope. <laughs> He's nothing. Nothing. You ain't nothing. Alright. Uh, guidance for the lockpick. Focus on the goal. It is finished. Oh, another almost thousand gold wand. Cool. Uh, six pets and let's show you carry like 6,000 pounds. Doesn't even have the bags holding yet. Yeah, Cat cats of holding. <laughs> oh, Tiger, we gotta remember that one. The cats of holding. Yeah, I mean, and it it it's not unrealistic. I mean, just throw some saddlebags over the cat. And they can carry stuff. It's fine. Oh, shadows embrace me. Play that. Dude, you are so persistent. Oh, whoa. We got one down here shooting magic missiles. What's going on? Let's have you go get that guy. Nice. I was scared. I thought it was like a magic missile. Oh my gosh, dude. Where's the freaking... Here you go. Hopefully this is supposed to represent me on Pathfinder. 
Hey yo everyone, Muckluck YouTube here with another wacky meme build for you and Pathfinder King member. Oh yuck. Watch King as my member? five druids use their highest summon nature's ally and my sylvan sorcerer does summon monster five and then uses haste. See that lonely goblin in the next room? Oh boy, is he in for a fun time under this furry cuddle pile. Me- I'm not reading the rest of that. That's as much as you get. Yeah, that's when the script they gave me got real raunchy. Mm-hmm. Nope. I unsubbed from that script. Alright, Shulk. Shulk has learned rage. Uh, more strength. We don't have enough strength. Never enough strength. More masses! Alright, what can we get here? Uh, more speed. No, we don't want that. Uh, nope. Plus, we'll come to so many attack rolls before. Uh, that's pretty good. Mm, what did they evolve into? Fury. Probably lethal. Um, crit multiplier goes up with lethal. Uh. Double the crit threat range. Okay, yeah, lethal's looking good. Okay, looks like we're all in agreement on that. Lethal then. Do I need to? Okay, cool, it's on automatically. Yeah, it's, you can just rage whenever you want, that's fine. These levels are short enough, I'll allow that. I will allow it. Alright, nothing's waiting to ambush me right at the door. Let's shred them. Oh, wait, there's a trap down there. We gotta be careful. Oh, up, 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 up. Alright. My smile at all got hit with two AOOs while I pulled them back to hit that. But I didn't want the gals in the back to get wrecked. Uh, I hate the what's on your party walks. Uh, <laughs> it's just, I mean, hopefully the next level won't have it. But we had, we did have a flooded level and then two levels of this muck everywhere. So I don't know how much longer that's going to be a thing. And talking about unpleasant sound effects, Tiger, makes me think of when Aureen was about to get breath attacked by Krokatoric, and then the screen went dark, and then you heard that, like, meaty crunching sound. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the chest. I just wanted to loot this thing. No mistake. It is finished. Ooh. Anytime you get that meaty sound, like a good May sound effect in a game. It is finished. So I remember in EverQuest 1, I loved the mace sound effect. It, it sounded like bones crunching. Like, you, you heard, like, a snapping sound when you would hit someone with a mace, just on every auto. It was very satisfying. And then, the first time I used, like, a two-hand mace or a two-hand maul in WoW, it sounded like someone was punching a block of styrofoam. It was so disappointing. Every swing. Map shows you how you missed a room. Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, this, there's no, uh, there's no reverse on that terrain. Um, I might be able to get another character if I go back right now. I'd rather just do it at the end of this level and definitely be able to get one. Uh, let's finish the buffs. I don't know which one is the right one, let's just buff one. Time's not waiting. Uh... Here. Enlarge her. 
Oh, that's right. Enlarge and reduce are very long cast. Reduce her. There we go. Shulk McLarge Huge can now melee things from like 11 feet away, I think. And she hits for 11 to 25 damage at this level. I forgot to stealth. Oh well. Like, watch her melee. Look how far back she's standing. Like, she just killed that guy. So, when you melee a water or fire elemental, you get frost or fire damage on you. And if you're using a uh, physical attack, and our Smilodons are all using physical attacks. Uh, Drew to the shield, and he doesn't seem adversely affected in any way. It was not aware that's how that works. Uh, yeah. I, I, it's on the base list of what he can use, apparently. Yeah, it's a, it's a heavy shield. I know that they can't use, like, heavier armors, like, that use metal, other than stone armor, which, of course, weighs a freaking ton. Okay. Melee, by the way. Nikki, you, you picking the, the okay? So here's the thing: in some versions of D and D and Pathfinder, if a druid shapeshifts into an animal or something, the animal stat page replaces the druid page, and so in those instances, it doesn't matter what the druid's strength and dex and con is. In this game, it adds them together. So you want if you want to be a druid who shapeshifts and bright and you know busts skulls. You want him to have good strength to begin with. So that's what he's going to be doing. I'm going to be making use of shapeshifting. All right, get that. Oh, another feat. Uh, we got precise strike, we got dodge. Can I get outflank yet? Outflank is my jam. I can't. Uh, you can now cast spells using wild shape. Probably want that, because I'm, I'm going to be using a lot of Wild Shape later. Let's just get Natural Spell. That's fine. Maybe Weapon Focus Claws or Bite. The thing is, is later on I'll be turning into, like, a Water Elemental. And I don't know if that counts as, uh... I don't know if, like, being on a Water Elemental counts as Claws and Bite, or if it's, like, a Slam attack. I remember that that was a big thing. Yeah. Uh... I don't even remember who I'm controlling right now. Uh, the tank. Okay. Uh, let's look at this first. I think we've already... Yeah, we already got armor focus heavy. <sighs> Crane wing. That requires a free hand. Shiv. Oh, outflank is available for him now. And Precise Strike and Shield Wall. Okay, nothing that's just super defense. So let's... We've already got other people with Precise Strike. So let's go ahead and get that to help them out. And go back here. What do we want here? Outflank is one of my faves. Uh, or toughness. Do you remember the damage for Smilodon? That was also... Uh, yeah, Smilodon, for whatever reason, has four claw attacks and a bite. Um, compare that... To, oh, it's also it's a large animal, so it has really high strength. Compare that to, like, the leopard. The leopard has two claw attacks and a bite that might do a trip, but all of the dice... Like, it uses D4s instead of D6s, so even if they all hit, it's, like, half the damage. Crane Wing requires a free hand, which means my tank has to either have no weapon or no shield. Um, shield wall? I think that requires a nether member of the party to have a shield and be next to him to use it. And the problem is when my druid shapeshifts into anything else, it counts you as no longer having another person with a shield. Uh, okay, so we'll just do that. So, where is his new... Shape shift. Wild shape wolf. There it is. 
So, like, if we, uh, Ring Song, thanks for that follow, buddy. Muckler Douglas, Bartholomew Reginald Esquire the Fourth welcomes you. Ring Song to the Bone Zone. Mmm. So, we, our stats are 17, 13, 16. Shift Wolf. 19, 13, 16. So Wolf just added plus two to strength, and you can see it up there at the top. Polymorph plus two. And Wolf is the weakest shapeshift. The as the others come rolling in, like a huge elemental, he'll be free slapping things from 20 feet away, and it'll be it'll be awesome. Alright, Cleric, we need to get Boon Companion, so her pet levels up like four times. Get that. Boon Companion, hands down. Tons of spells. I love it. And Diffused La Bombit. Her bombs level up. Uh, skill, skill, skill. Do this, I guess. And... You should sure range those opponent gauge melee without taking the same minus four in your attack. Does this help with bombs? This would be huge if that helps with bombs. Okay, then we want that. Not even gonna think very hard. Uh, what else? False life, I guess. Okay. Focus on the goal. All right, let's get this stuff out of here. And where is the... Oh, she has to rest before she can load that up. Alright, so then we're going to have to just prepare these guys' spell books really quick. 100% Bark Skin. Okay. Third tier. What are we getting for third tier? Resist Energy Communal is a solid option. But she might be able to do that. Uh, magical Vestment. One hour a level. That's really strong also. Does he have Magical Vestment? I don't think he does. Uh, delay poison communal. Hey, what are we doing? Chip is playing with my shoes. Uh, let's get one of each of those. Well, I uh, know. Wait, hold on. Magic Fang. Oh, sorry. I was reading that as communal for a second or mass. Uh, and I was thinking that was going to buff all the saber, saber tooth, but it's not. Um, two weapon fighting is fun with bombs. I don't know what precision does. Two weapon fighting bombs start throwing like three bombs per turn. I would run out of bombs so quick. That's interesting though. I did not know that it worked that way. Um, let's get another one of each of these. Okay. Uh,. Let's try this on the tank and see what happens. Alright. I know what to do. The road calls me. I'll take the bait. Okay. Interesting. Alright, there's battle. one trap. If there's anything around the corner, I'll just have her run back real fast. It is finished. Yo, this is so bright. What the heck? They're they're halos reflecting off this weird crystal structure on the floor. Like I'm squinting. Our victory is certain. Boom! 18 damage from the back line. Shulk smash. Alright. Let's just... This is the first channel I've used all game. There we go. I knew all the cats took damage, so I just did that. As bright as can be. Yeah, I know. This, this level is crazy. Got a new armor. Some broken floor there. I'm getting a little overconfident because of all.
I deserve that. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, I was like, I'm getting a little overconfident because everything on this floor has been so easy. Blam! This will hurt. Ste oh, I don't have delay poison communal yet. I haven't been able to rest yet, so I don't have it loaded. So this is. I can't just perma block the stinking cloud. Oh, that's a shame. Confidence is a slow. Is the rest of that named file? Is that confidence is a slow and insidious killer? Oh my god. No, let the tank get in front, you psychopaths. I can barely see what's happening. Our one smile on is down. Uh, my top damage dealer cannot currently attack. All right, here we go. There we go, okay. Large fire elemental that emits a stink cloud at all times? What the heck? Uh, my healer can no longer heal. Um... I mean, all hope, all hope is on Shulk right now. I think almost everyone else is like stunlocked. She's missing. Dude, by the way, you told me I could just use these from the bag. I can't. God, he's half health. I mean, even if I... Even if I run... Oh, I forgot about the grenade. Uh, haha. <laughs> Uh, I bet he's gonna be immune to the fire damage grenade. Let me try it. May I see your entrails, please? Wait. There's a seven reduced. Yeah, it's not working. Hmm. <laughs> Burn, slice, uh, behead. The thing is, Frigid Touch, she'll have to run into the cloud, and then she uh, might just get stunlocked like everybody else.
Yo, this guy is garbage. Like, what am I supposed to do? Die, die, die. Like, they're... I can't even see what's going on. Dude, I got delay poison right before this fight, and I couldn't rest to load the spell before this fight, Tiger. I have the only single target delay poison currently on my Barbarian. That's that's all I got. Oh my god. I can't see with the 100 messages pouring off of him. All right, well, try Frigid Touch. Let's see if you get it off before you die. Calm down. Not wow. Dude, I'm not even happy about that. That's going to be another 6,000 gold. When does this wear off? Five seconds. Okay, it didn't even have a timer during the fight. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Wand of Call Lightning. Mm. If it was worth uh, 5,000 more gold, I would care. Alright. Guess we're not getting our sixth party member yet. It is finished. Okay, we got some stuff in here. What do we got? Master Elven Curve Blade. Oh, he can't use that. What is this thing? The Dog Slicer? It's alarming. Uh, plus one finesse wielding. Nice sharp edge, it says. Okay. That's robust plate six. Nothing changes on him when we do that. What about you? Her AC goes up by two. Okay, what about you in this? Her AC goes up by one. Uh, so there's let's go, what's your run? Armor check penalty changes, yeah. At least it's not like the OG Pathfinder where if your character goes down, it instantly says Enemy that you lose the game. More Stinking Cloud? Oh. door back there. Uh, da, 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 da. That's also a spoiler about your main dying. What? I'll go ahead. That was weird. I had to click that like many, many times. I think she uh, had the cloud on. Wait, hold on. I just noticed something. Nice that that, okay, that bug is still in the game even after all this time since release. Look at this. My cleric's in front and not my tank. It would occasionally just swap and Shulk was in second because of a range. So the game would occasionally just swap around people in my interface for my uh, formation. Nature check. Guess who's dead? The druid. Oh look, we failed. What a shocking development. Okay. We go to the stairs and then go to town and see if we can liquidate everything and get our guy back. Uh, it's supposed to be a fixed bug about pets trying to open doors. Okay. 
Uh, I'm probably gonna go another 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna get some sleep. This is cool, though. We got to uh, meet a lot of new people tonight, because we decided to play this. Alright, Shulk just leveled. Uh, Ferocious Fetch. Mad Dogs or Beast gains improved trip as a bonus feat. Eh, bleh, whatever. Not something I'm going to be using much. It's better just to do damage. Uh, da, 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 da. Outflank, probably. Or power attack. I think power attacks are prerequisite for cleave, isn't it? Uh, da, 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 da. yeah. Yeah, it was. Alright, so let's, uh, we'll keep power attack. And... So get that over here. Time. Okay, let's head to town. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Tiger being awesome with the advertising. Yes, if this happens to be the first night you've ever seen me uh, here, thank you for joining us. We do stream every single night, over 370 nights in a row, without missing a single day. We're very consistent. It's always RPG content. Currently, that's a lot of Guild Wars 2, and now a bit of Pathfinder Kingmaker, now that the new DLC is out. Uh, I need to go to the merchant. I went to the wrong person. Over here. Yeah, we're big on RPG and story content and stuff like that. Alright, honest guy. I'm gonna get your wares. Anything? That's fine. Alright. Uh, dagger, great axe. Both those are fine to sell. Uh, sell that. I've already compared this armor. I, eh, I think I compared that armor on everybody. Want to call lightning. Get rid of that. Okay, I've got enough gold. That's that's fine. That's plenty. All right. Let's go back over here. And you'll see me tomorrow for more Pathfinder. All right, dude. We'll see you then. Uh, let's see. Oh, 12,500 for a new hero at this level. Cool. Uh, I need supplies. And... Scroll of... What's it called? Raise? Something? Raise dead? Ah! Okay. And then we target the dead person. And... There we go. Okay. Does his armor... Oh, I can't chest it in town. I wanted to see if his armor went down when he went wolf form. It probably does, because he loses the shield. Alright. Alright. Okay. Let's see what we can do down here now. <laughs> Just cast shield on him from the Alk. Um... I mean, it's it's tough to say sometimes, because, like, actually, she's got more. I was going to say, earlier when she got mind control, and then she could just got, like, one shot in a second. Oh, she just got new armor. That's right. We just handed her some mithril armor or something. How's it going, ship? Okay. So, let's get our buffs on. I'm always ready. This brings back memory. I remember doing five minutes of Viviosi Travisi after every poll in the past. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Do I need to do anything here? Let me test this out. So he's got 27 AC. If I do Magic Vestment Shield on him. Does that work? No. He's still 27, so that did not stack with something he had. So no point in trying Magic Vestment Shield in the future. No mistakes. Mutagen. Enlarge her. Shall we move? 
We shall move. All right. Should be good for now. Uh, once again, the God. I'm, if it wasn't for the fact that they gave combat bonuses, I would turn the halos off. This looks so bad. I'm there. Like the halos reflecting on the water just looks awful. Hey, dude, how are you doing? I'm a nosy trophies. Yeah, I know, right? Just waiting on these mobs. There we go. God, like, honestly, I feel like this makes it look like the stream is just terrible quality because all this water. What type of floor did we get? Let's see. May I see your entrails, please? Let's try this way. Battering creature. They can use bull rush or trip. Okay. So the mobs are hollow smiths. They'll never see me. They just CC for days. The freaking formation changed again. Dag nabbit. What is going on with this? Stop changing the formation. I'm like, why is the druid that just got resurrected in front? She just killed that guy way down there with a 34 damage hit. I love the Reach Warrior. So good. So good, chat. That's my jam. You want a wizard? No, I want a woman with a 15 foot long arm reach to just destroy everything. No wizards required. I do what I must. Hold on, it's what are the bonuses for the halo? Plus two on saving throws for becoming blinded and dazzled. You know what? I'll I'll take the risk right now. This is just this is Ready for any really Ready irritating. For oh man. Okay. Wow. That is different. That looks different. Chad, do you think he's learning when there will be traps? Smooth the tank port to the bottom part. He'll always be in position one. It is finished. But if there's any, I know you said there's probably not, but if there's any spot where a conversation starts, I want my guy to be the one talking. And that always used position one. Oh, a swarm. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, this should do bombs. Woo! 26 and it was reduced. I'm off. You're here to kill goblins, not converse with them. Fine. We should move. What is that? Okay. Uh that's the big money ring again. I'll take that. Right, let's go to the other door. Yeah, but you told me putting him in the first slot would make him always the first. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at you like that. I am looking at that you so hard. A calculated risk. I didn't even break a Look at that swing from the back. Shulk make a large huge. 
Oh my gosh, that was a boss. That was nothing. You got nothing! I have to delete it because it's PG-13. Oh. Yeah, this is a, this is a PG-13 stream. Just uh, don't get... Uh, try, try to keep it classy and we'd be good. Let's see. Gloves! Our first magic gloves. What do these do? Uh, what? Did they auto-equip? Where do they go? Oh, there they are. Uh, mad Scientist gloves. Fire resist and acid resist 15. There you go. Put on the tank. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, some really high resistance. Is like a boss room. Knowledge Arcana. It is 35 XP. So it doesn't even give you any lore, it's just like, yeah, you got it here. <laughs> hmm. I'm there. Oh, did it? Oh, yeah. Uh, greater Invis for five minutes. Except not the Smilodons. Also, we're splashing around in the water. No, the DMs that I played with would make this like the worst invis ever because we're splashing around in waist deep water with cats next to us. It does give you bonuses in combat though. It's not just about sneaking around. Um, I saw a helmet. DR5 magic. Wow, that's really good. There we go. We got a bucket for him. All right, let's just pass these down the line. Uh, what are these? Attack rolls. Uh, that's a bow only, so we'll give it to our archer cleric. All right. Uh, let's see. I used to throw flower bags at invisible enemies. The DMs are like, why? Because <laughs> it makes them show up. Do you ever know any games like Dragon Age Inquisition? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know that I've played any game that was an RPG like that that had, like, okay, here's the thing. If you think about it, Dragon Age Inquisition did not have that much customization. The talent trees were very small, but the way the world was so large and how much time you spent traveling and just moving around, um, it expanded the game and made it take a long time. I don't know that I've ever played a game that was as robust and had as much like you know cinematics and voice acting and it made me feel like I was playing a movie as Dragon Age Inquisition. But on the same note, you know, like I said, it was kind of fluff, uh, like, it was kind of inflated a bit with all the trap. Like, just going to town and selling excess stuff and then coming back, oh, wow, this looks great, was, uh, like a ten-minute trip. It wasn't a fast thing. Um... From what I, I, like, I never played the Mass Effect games, but I heard the Mass Effect games were not far off from that. Tower shield specialist. I still gotta get this guy a better tower shield. Alright, everybody got a level though. Uh, wild shape leopard and small elemental just unlocked. All the elementals. And cleric. Uh, just another thing. Witcher, yeah, Witcher 3 was really good. 
I still haven't... I played Heart of Stone. I still haven't played Blood and Wine. I'm gonna get Acid Bomb. You know, just in case we come across an enemy that might be mean to fire. I think it would be good to have an alternative ready to go. Hmm. Good to have another person with lesser resto in a pinch. 66 IQ. And Barb, what is this? Danger Sense level 2. Uh, doot doot. She's so easy to level up. Such a straightforward gal. Alright, what about spell preparation? Do I have to do anything? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, da, da, da. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about uh, bull strength. I should be doing that. I need to add that to her bar. Uh. Do I have two people delay energy com or delay poison communal right now? Yeah, I do. S so animate dead. Um, raise a skeletal champions. Oh, it doesn't have to be targeted on a corpse. I could try it. Alright, uh, does this save when I... Well, you know what, I'll tell you what, we'll find one pack of monsters just to see what's on this floor. Please don't kill me before I get to the first pack. You know what, just to be extra cautious. The others will not be available until I've rested. Neverwinter's nice. PoE, Tyranny, Pathfire, some... Yeah. Um, yeah, character customization. I know tons of gamers, but games like Dragon Age Inquisition... Like, the Dragon Age game... Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition was more... Um, I felt more like I was playing a, a half of, it was like half game, half movie. Like the character customization was actually not massive, but it was still a lot of fun. Nature check. <laughs> hey Ruskith, how you doing buddy? We're just wrapping up here. I'm looking for one more enemy to fight to test something and then we're gonna be wrapping up for the night. We stayed up extra late because it's Friday. Yeah, and you know, when you say that, I, again, I think of Witcher 3. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, region 3, unless it's hit with fire or acid. Fiery creature, increased resistance against fire, and spells with fire descriptor. Deals this okay. Man, it's a good thing we brought acid. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something else, though. Something to make this even easier. Acid Maul makes uh, the, one of the Smilodons bite for acid damage, and it can go around and get the last hit on all this stuff. There. There, see? So one of the Smilodons now has the ability to kill these things for three minutes. Save grenades even longer. Oh. My. God. Magical adamantine full plates? What is this game? Oh my, we're freaking level 6! 29 armor, and he's not even buffed right now, is he? No, he doesn't have bark skin right now. 
What is this game? Let's do this. Let's do some of this. It's time to act. Oh my gosh. Uh, what else? We use the mutagen, enlarge person. So with bark skin alone, he's at 32 AC at level six. Good lord. Ah, uh, da da da. Fire wargs. Uh, oh, mon the monstrosity spot is an uptime command? Interesting. I've got one as well. I uh, I never knew that your bot had one. I've never had to go looking for it. Uh, da, 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 da. Branded tree. Yeah, that was re really silly. Like, the troll's main weakness is fire and acid. They're like, mm, but we like fire. Our weakness is fire, but we Burn. like fire. Slice! Uh, behead! All right. If only we had effortless armor for him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, let's see. It's my first time playing this game mode. I assume... See, I can't save it. If I just go out to the main menu, will it save the game? Or will I come back in later and be back at the beginning of the level? Run up to town to force it to save? Okay. It's a bummer. I mean, it would be kind of silly if just exiting the game forced to save when you can't use the save button, because then you could just do that whenever you wanted to abuse it. Right. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll... I'll go to the load menu and see where my people are standing. 2.48. This is 17 minutes ago. Man, really? Uh, okay, maybe, maybe when I rest? Let me try resting. Going to the main menu does autosave. I've been playing all day. Okay, let's let's try this on. I'm gonna try. I got a couple ideas. I want to try here. All right, that doesn't change it. That doesn't change it. All right. Well, I don't. I don't want to play the rest of that level right now because I need to get some sleep. So, let's see if we see uh, if the thumbnail changes to us standing by the table. We'll know it does auto save. Says saving. Looks good, hopefully. Yes, we're by the table in the thumbnail. Cool. All right. Uh, excuse my paranoia, Angelo of Pride. I just I wanted to save. But thank you for the information. That's great. Um, okay. I think we're gonna stop there for the night. We did freaking th three hours of Guild Wars Two and three hours of Pathfinder. Yes, exactly. I agree. So, uh, all of you, thank you for joining me here tonight. It's a pleasure having you here. If you happen to be new to my stream, we are here every single night after 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We just really love doing this. Haven't missed a day in over 370 days. And it's always RPG content. Right now, that is a lot of Guild Wars 2. And we're starting to get back into Pathfinder to go through this new DLC. I've played all the previous Pathfinder stuff and this is new to me because it just came out. So I'll be back on uh, tomorrow if you want to join us. The follow button, make it easy for you to see when we are live. We also do giveaways every single Friday. Um, the one that was today, it's past midnight, but the one that was today, uh, we gave away another Humble Bundle gift package. So that's over $100 worth of games. So if you want to get in on that, just keep watching the stream and you can uh, passively earn points while you're here. You spend those points to buy raffle tickets for the lottery, which is every Friday and get in on that. So I'm my way of giving back to you guys for supporting me. And lastly, we always raid somebody at the end of the stream. So give me just a minute. I'm gonna see if I can find someone else doing some Pathfinder and we will try to put a smile on their face. Let me see if I can find somebody right now. Uh, the music stopped because I tabbed out. Give me just a second. Um, music stopped because I tabbed out. No! Okay, there are three other people currently streaming. 
and one of them has a face cam. I like people with a face cam. You can see the uh, okay. see the reactions better. Uh, is this English? Follow me. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's English. <laughs> I love it. I tuned in right as he said that word. Great. Okay, so I've never met this person. His name is T-Hold. He's currently uh, streaming some Pathfinder. It says it's a blind playthrough. I think this might be his very first time playing the game. So we're going to pop in there, guys. And if you would, help me make some noise. Just do the raid emote, my emote, your favorite emote, picture of a cat. It doesn't matter. Just make some noise. This might be the biggest raid this guy's ever gotten. Make it memorable, and then if you're going to bed, I completely understand. I hope you have a good night. I hope I get to see you tomorrow. Peace.